Yeah, you need a bell, don't you? Morning, world, and welcome to a bright and chilly Thursday, 1st of February. No calves yet. I came down early to have a look round and they were all just quietly chewing the cut in there. But still hoping we're not going to have any calves for another week, 10 days. Because that means we can get TB testing out the way um, and not have to deal with little calves. Excuse me. Back it up. Thank you. Right. The problem is I dropped a bit in the feeder, which means they've got the red thing in there. So we're gonna to have to be a bit wary of that. Go on, get out! Hits! Up. Well, that fell in there, whether I wanted to or not. Hopefully, everyone's all right. We'll have to check. If something had its head trapped in there, there would be a lot of um, rocking and rolling going on with that, but just in case, no, we're okay, we're good. That was all refreshed yesterday, not so bad at that end. All right, well, they've obviously been given the salt licks a little bit of a, and these guys even more so, but at least that means they're working. That's what they're supposed to do. So I'm going to have to have another tidy up in here today, but that'll be this afternoon. I'm not doing it this morning. Same as the yard. I think what we'll do is we'll clear this out, fresh bed in there, push all that in there, which will soak up a lot of that, and then take that out of there and put up on the mid neap. So, the job for this morning is out with the welder. So, we've got to put two hinges, obviously, on this pillar for a gate that I want to be able to open um, close across there. So it'll close this off, but it will also close against there. And the idea being with this is we'll take this gate out then. <clears throat> this is a 15 foot gate, too long. I'll find another job for that somewhere. He's a bit bent and probably, maybe while I've got the water out, I'll tack that up. I don't know. I've got to try and bend that straight first, which is doable with the skid steer. Unfortunately, it's the biggest bar that's bent. If it was one of the smaller ones, it'd actually be easier, but because the biggest bar makes it a little bit harder. But um, yeah, this guy, you wouldn't want a cow jumping over this gate and catching themselves on there. So, so yeah, so may maybe we'll have a go at that later on. Um, so yeah, so the idea being is when we're doing TB testing, uh, we'll have to basically run this grub down to more or less nothing so I can do it. I want to be able to open this gate around that way and then this lot can come back through here 
and straight through into the holding pen over there. Now uh, that is the plan. So we may also put a set of hinges on that inside of that pillar there so I can actually hang the gate the other way and I can literally, instead of me having to struggle lifting and dragging hurdles, I can, I know, I know more gates. I know a lot of you think I'm a nutter for gates, but it makes life easier. And I'm pretty sure as I get older, I'll appreciate having something on hinges that can just push nice and easy, rather than something I've got to pick up and lift. Hurdles are great if I want to build something temporary. But uh, yeah, ah, there it is. I came in last night and noticed there was only one chain in the gate. I thought, where's the chain gone? Well, I was looking down there, but it was over there. And now it's back on there. Right, the key can stay in there because I'll be using that again in a couple of hours. And I've got no intention of going anywhere in the meantime. That can go over there. That can go back down there. Right. I'm going to put the welding mask out in the sunshine. Because this is a... Basically, it's a solar-powered mask. And I used to keep it indoors. Indoors. And every time I wanted it, it would take ages to um, charge it up. So we'll bring it out and we'll face it into the sun. Something like that. We've got a new postman. And we say to the post folks, if you need to use piddly squat, you can. And the new post person does. I don't know if it's a, a man or woman. I've not actually seen them yet. I'll just know it's a new one. But they will insist on using the facility and leaving the door open. So I've had to leave my little notes more in. Close the door when you're finished or I'm going to lock you out. I mean, it's a free facility. We don't want nothing for it. They're welcome to use it. But, I mean, were they born in a barn? I very generously treated myself to a new extension cable yesterday. 20 quid. Um, it is a bit plastic. But as long as it does the job. Right, I need to get a cable to the socket over there where they can't interfere with it. So it's going to have to go up and over there, I think. Along there. Back over there. We don't use these um, sockets very often. They're kind of here for if we needed a bit of emergency light or um, clippers or for whatever reason you can think of you might want a power supply near livestock we put a sockets there there's also one midway up there over the top of the uh, crush and one a bit further up again and that was there the one well, again for the crush was in case we wanted to do any tail clipping because our clippers are 240 volt um, we don't use them because the cows don't really, hello darling, the cows don't really need them. I mean, they're not sweating, they're not at a puff, and they're definitely not losing condition. So we don't clip. And again, they spend quite a bit of time outside. I don't want to give them bare backs. They probably wouldn't like that very much. Right, let's put that up over there. And that's just about right. We'll want that. That can go down there. And we'll want that. I've already got them. Okay. You can come out there. You can come out and so can you. Right, we need grinder. There's not a lot of paint on there. But enough. Let's go and get the grinder. Okay. We don't need cutting disc, so you can come off. Oh, 
what we want is you back on her. Oh. Ready to go. Right, back to work. I got a phone call from Mrs. P about 40 minutes ago, actually, saying, you busy? I said, no, oh, nothing, I can't stop, why? We've got a crisis, we need you at the house now. If you watch my shorts, excuse me, my short videos, you will already know what's happened. Basically, Holly had enough subscribers and views and everything else that she could monetize her channel. And that's what she wanted to do. She wanted to monetize her channel so that the adverts that you guys watch on there, because they're already there because YouTube already put them on there, um, she can actually get a little bit of income off of it. And I'm all for that. No, more power to her right arm and all that. Anyway, in the process of her trying to monetize her channel, there was some issue with the account because it was an old account because she'd already started a YouTube channel ages and ages ago called Dyslexic Baker or something like that. And there was a discrepancy, and she thought, oh, right, okay, so I need to get rid of that, get rid of it. Anyway, she pressed the delete button. She didn't just delete the old account. She deleted the entire account, everything. So all the videos she's done, gone. And as far as we know, can't be recovered. So, uh, so it was a case of, I was called up, what can we do? So, well, the thing is, I've never actually come across that myself. I've never done it, so I didn't really know. I said, well, you've got to start again. I'll let folks know, which I did in my little short video, and I'm doing now, that Holly has, in the process, started creating a new channel for her. And I said, look, while we're doing this, let's just change stuff a little bit. And she said, what do you mean? I said, well, why don't you change the name? To what? I said, well, why don't you put it to... I said, it is a play on words. I'm Farmer P. Why don't you become Baker P? She goes... I like it. I said, only do it if you like it. She said, I like it. I said, or, about, or even baking pea. And she goes, no, that sounds a bit odd. Baker pea. So that's what she's doing. She's in the process now of creating a new YouTube channel for what was Holly's Bakes and Cakes, which is a mouthful. We know it's a mouthful. And that's going to be reduced. It's still going to be the same sort of thing, but it's going to be called Baker pea. So by the time this video goes up, that will be live. So you can pause right now if you want and go and find Baker P. And if I can, I'll, I'll work out a way of putting the link to it in description box below. What I might do is get one of our newest videos and I'll put the link to that video in the description box down there. So you can either pause this right now, go down there, click on that, that'll take you through. And then if you would please press the subscribe button for her uh, and a like, like would be nice. Uh, because at the moment, because she's starting from scratch, the longest video she can produce is 15 minutes. Literally, she has to start from scratch. So and until she's got a 1,000 subscribers and X amount of minutes of viewing or something, she can't make anything any longer than 15 minutes. I mean, some of you might say 15 minutes is enough. Some of you might say mine are too long. How many videos? But, you know, so yeah, Baker P. It's shorter, to the point. It so kind of matches in with the farm thing. It's going to be a similar sort of thing, but if you can support her, because she was literally looking forward to getting a little bit of monetization, earning a bit of money to help her pay for the new cabin, which I will say for, on her, for her, she is putting the majority of the money into that cabin. It's her money. We're going to help her out, but it's her money. So, and now she's lost it would have been a small income stream to stop, but it would have helped. I know, I'm waffling on, so yeah. Pause, box below, click on the link I'll put down there, and away you go. Go and give her a bit of support, so tell her I said hi. Right, so, <clears throat> back to business. So far, I have got as far as putting the hinges on. That's it. Um, I've put a block in there, so we're, we're not planning to do anything with sheep. This is going to be all predominantly cattle. 
So I can let the gate come up a bit higher. <coughs> so, and because the floor raises inside, I need the gate high enough to make sure it misses. If we have a bit of or something in there, I need to make sure it, it misses. So the gate is going to latch against this, so it can't swing through, so it can only open that way. Unless, of course, I take it off the hinges, and then it can open that way as well. No reason why it should. We may, at a later date, put a hinge on there and over there and put a couple of double gates here. Then if I'm moving cattle around the yards and that, I can just close or hang a couple of gates on there. The hinges are a couple of quid so uh, yeah so we might do that later on hinges on the outside and over there I'll have to cut that bottom of that board off I expect and we'll have it so we can put gates over there too and maybe even if I have to create a bit of yard in here I I, I don't know I don't know so yeah got me block I'm gonna move it that way a bit so it's kind of middle of the gate so it balances ish and then we'll work out where our top hinge is gonna go We'll get that on, and hmm, I suppose if I do that, excuse me, if I get the top hinge on, I could always, while the gate's there and got it level, tack the bottom hinge. I know it's lazy. Well, I don't know. Let's let's just play this by ear, and we'll do it as as we go along. <coughs> you there? That can come back out of there pushed that out of the way of the cattle while I was going at the house because that cable's live and I didn't want anybody chewing it. That would have been um, an electrifying experience. Hmm. Hmm. Literally all I want is an idea where we're going. And I pushed that too far that way. Uh, this way. Nope, stay. <sighs> Spirit level. I'm making the right Heath Robinson job with this. That's going to fall. Stay. Okay. So about there. That's where you're going. Let's try not to repeat the mistakes we made last time. Hopefully, that's got him on there. Shall we? And then the difficult bit.
Okay. A spot more there. And a bit more there. Let's turn you down a bit, actually. You're still a bit hot. You're on 89 amps, so 85. That'll do. Let's just put you on there. And then we'll get you lined up with bottom one. <clears throat> I don't know what's wrong with the dogs. Someone's cycling or walking past or more likely walking their dog out in the common and it's driving my lot nuts. go up in there like that all right I reckon we can tack him on like that don't you come on Can I lift that off without breaking that off there? Where do I put the spirit level? Oh, there it is. Right, that's both hinges on, and yeah, uh, it, I know it's a big blob of weld, but hopefully that means it's not going to fall off. So uh, yeah, all I got to do now is put that on there, adjust the hinges, and that's that bit done. And then this gate's got to come off. Voila. Okay. Happy days, spirit level. Spirit level, I keep putting stuff down. Right, you just want to come up a little bit. So we'll take that gate out of there a minute, push that bit of grub up out the way, and then, yeah, we will have to sort something out with that pipe as well. But you can see the idea, so I want to be able to shut this gate. This, this gate is going to replace that one which I can shut hopefully right round to that pillar and just chain it up there. And then when I want to move these guys from in there 
to in there, all I've got to do is open this gate, which will open that gap, and close this one. Do you see the plan? Do you see how it works? I think I've got it as well. Does that serve me right for not measuring it first? It's a 14 foot gate. Should I have put the hinges right on the end there so I can lengthen these out? The problem is, I've got a six inch gap there. But if I open the gate this way, it overlaps to about there. So if I make it longer, which I could do on the hinges, I can get longer hinges to go that way then it's going to be overlapping a long way here. I suppose I could just weld a latch back in there, but yeah. Not gone quite to plan. I mean, it will still work. I can still do what I want to do, but look at it now. I might, for the time being, um, just leave that gate where it is. Um, and when we want to move these cattle, I can just close that round and just take that one out. There's only a couple of chains to take that out. It's just not quite what I wanted. Didn't quite work. Somebody who does this a lot would already have known that, and I dare say a couple of you sort of said to me, that nah, ain't gonna work. But I didn't know you. And occasionally we've all just got to learn the hard way, haven't we? I can still make it work. See what I mean? I mean, there's enough room on there for me to put a, a loop on there to catch this gate. But if I make the hinges longer to go on there, that won't work. I came up with a solution to my little problem. Can you see what it is? So, right, uh, hmm. let's go to this side and I'll show you what I've worked out. That little gate there with the mesh bottom, sort of one of our old sheep gates, was kind of crossed over in here and just chained back. So all I did was unchained it, bought it out. I put a hurdle pin down through the hinges, had to adjust the hinges to make it all fit, make it sit tight on the floor. So that's now secured to that. I will put another chain around there when I can find one in a minute. Chained this to that post. That's going nowhere and then change that gate to the end of here. So this, this can stay here. That's fine because we can open that and the cattle can run through there. That works because when I open the hurdles around from there, I can literally still run them straight through. Oh, I might have to pull the gate over just to cut off a hole, but uh, yeah, this will work. It's not perfect, but it's secure. They can't break it. Actually, that's not true. If they really, 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 really wanted to and panicked, they probably could. They're not going to break it. So, yeah, I'm reasonably happy with that. I forgot to put the bolt in. We'll do that now before I forget and then I lose it. Right, I want something to latch the gate back with. And they didn't have any eyes down at uh, Mo Valley to do it with, so I've had to improvise. Now, be prepared, some of you old fellas might just cringe a bit at this, but I think I found just the thing. It's an old linkage ball. And the reason why it's just the thing is it will fit neatly on there like that. But also, that hole in the top there fits the pins for the hurdles. So it's a kind of a multitasking thing, if you know what I mean. So yeah, and it's steel, so they can weld that on there. And bearing in mind, all this is doing is, it's not, there's no pressure coming this way. All the pressure's going that way. All it's got to do is hold the gate shut. So yeah, genius. Take hold of it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it's 
you can ask. I will finish you off. Marvelous. Guess what Numpty managed to get undercoat paint on the lens's camera. Got most of it off, but got to get a new lens anyway because I dropped it yesterday and I managed to crack it. So, yeah. Right, so I need to get them back in for lunch. So I just come in, dug out the rest of the uh, rubbishy stuff put some fresh straw in, we'll cut, kick that back now and then after lunch we're going to do that in there because that has got really mucky very quickly again. Still waiting for them to firm up. So yeah, we'll get that out there, fresh bed for them, fresh everything for them in there and then that's done and then I think tomorrow we'll do the guys next door. So uh, yeah. Just the last Finishing touch. There you go. Done. See, can't wait. Straight in, crap all over it. Typical. <laughs> 